Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this video, we'll explore some of the most exciting and impactful data analyst projects across various categories. Whether you are interested in data scrapping, data visualization or more advanced data analysis, these projects will inspire you to take your skills to the next level. But before we begin, if you enjoy watching these videos and find them interesting, then subscribe to our channel because we bring the best videos for you daily. Also hit the bell icon to never miss any updates from Simply Learn. We all know the fact that the data present in this world is never ending and finding a high paying job in the field of data analytics is not so easy. And that's why Simply Learn is here to help you out. On that note, we present to you Simply Learn's Data Analytics Bootcamp, delivered in collaboration with Caltech CTM. Designed for working professionals, the Data Analytics Bootcamp follows an applied learning model featuring industry-oriented real-world projects and integrated labs. The Caltech Data Analytics Bootcamp is ideal for working professionals from all backgrounds. Develop core skills such as mastering Excel, creating data-driven presentations, data manipulation with SQL, analyzing data with Python, and data visualization with Tableau. Learn data analysis with tools such as Amazon Web Services. Led by experienced instructors and industry experts, the Caltech Data Analytics Bootcamp ensures a dynamic and interactive learning environment. By the end of the program, participants will have gained the expertise necessary to extract valuable insights from data and make data-driven decisions. For more information, check out the link mentioned in the description box below. So without any further delay, let's start this video with the importance of projects in data analytics. Finding a suitable job in the field of data analytics is becoming increasingly difficult. The ideal way to display your skills is through a portfolio of data analytics projects. A solid portfolio of projects will illustrate that you can utilize those analytical skills in your profile well. Projects like sentiment analysis, fraud detection and many more are the best way to improve your early analytics skills. You may have the knowledge but putting it to use is what keeps you competitive. So in this video, we'll divide the project ideas into three different categories, which are data scripting project ideas, data visualization project ideas, and advanced data analysis project ideas. Then we'll look at which project you should work on to make your portfolio of projects more attractive. So let's start with data scripting project ideas. In this category, we'll focus on extracting data from various online sources. Web scraping involves automating the collection of data from websites and APIs. We use programming languages like Python and libraries like Beautiful Soup and Selenium to navigate web pages, extract relevant information and store it for analysis. So the first project in our list is an e-commerce product price tracker. In this project, you will develop a web scraping tool to extract real-time product price data from multiple e-commerce websites. You'll set up automated scripts to periodically gather data, track price changes, and identify discounts or promotions. To showcase your findings, you'll create interactive line charts and bar graphs using Matplotlib. This project will help you understand web scraping, data collection, and the basic data visualization techniques. The second project we have is the Job Market Insights. Dive into the job market by building a web scraper to extract job postings from various job boards. You will analyze trends in job titles, required salary and salary ranges. With this data, you can identify emerging job roles, high demand industries and geographical areas with the most opportunities. Present your insights with Seaborn to visualize the distribution of skills and salaries across different job categories. The third project in our list is a real estate listing analysis. Develop a data scraping tool to collect real estate listings details such as property prices, locations and features from multiple real estate websites. By analyzing this data, you can uncover trends in property prices based on location, property size and amenities. Create a choropleth map using Plotly to visualize the median property price ranges in different neighborhoods, offering valuable insights to potential buyers and sellers. The fourth project we have is the weather data aggregation. Gather historical weather data from multiple sources, weather APIs, websites, etc. and create a comprehensive data set. Clean and pre-process the data to analyze climate trends, temperature variations and rainfall patterns over time. Visualize this data using line charts and scatter plots with Matplotlib to showcase long-term climate changes and seasonal trends. 
If you also aspire to be a part of this digital world, consider enrolling in the postgraduate program in Data Analytics. This program, developed in collaboration with IBM and in partnership with the Purdue University, offers master classes and follows an applied learning model that includes real life projects and business case studies. It's an opportunity to elevate your career to new heights. Ideal for working professionals, this data analytics program requires no prior programming knowledge. It covers a wide range of topics, including data analysis, data visualization, regression techniques, and supervised learning. So hurry up and find the course link in the description box for more details. The next category we have is the data visualization project ideas. Data visualization is the art of presenting data visually to convey insights effectively. In this category, one works on projects that involve creating graphs, charts, maps, and interactive dashboards to showcase patterns, trends, and relationships in the data. So the first project of data visualization and the fifth project for the day is COVID-19 dashboard. Design an interactive dashboard using Plotly and Dash to display COVID-19 data. Incorporate real-time data on infection rate, vaccination progress, and recovery rates. Utilize maps to display regional variations and trends. Line charts for time series data and bar charts to compare statistics across countries. This project will enhance your data visualization skills while providing a valuable tool for tracking the pandemic's impact. The next project we have is the customer segmentation analysis. Analyze customer data from a retail business to segment customers based on purchasing behavior, demographics, or other relevant features. Use clustering algorithms like k-means and create your visualizations with ggplot2 to highlight distinct customer segments. This project will help the marketing team tailor their strategies to different customer groups and increase customer engagement. The next project we have is the social media engagement analysis. Gather social media data using APIs, for example, Twitter's Tweepy, to track engagement matrices like likes, shares, and comments. Analyze trends in user interaction, identify peak engagement times, and visualize the distribution of engagement across different platforms. Present your findings using line charts, bar graphs, and heat maps to provide actionable insights for social media strategy. Let's understand the last category, which is Advanced Data Analysis Projects. This category involves more complex data analysis tasks that often require machine learning and statistical techniques. You'll work with larger data sets, build predictive models, perform sentiment analysis, and gain deeper insights into the data. So the eighth project for the day is Sentiment Analysis of Social Media Data. Collect social media posts related to a specific topic and perform sentiment analysis to gauge public opinion. Implement NLP techniques using libraries like NLTK or TextBlob to classify posts as positive, negative, or neutral. Visualize sentiment trends over time using Tableau, showcasing shifts in public perception and identifying key moments of sentiment change. The ninth project for the day is Financial Fraud Detection. Analyze financial transaction data to detect patterns indicative of fraudulent activity. Pre-process the data, extract relevant features, and apply machine learning algorithms such as random forest or gradient boosting to create a predictive model. Evaluate models performance using confusion matrices, ROC curves, and precision recall curves. Visualize these evaluation matrices to showcase the model's effectiveness in identifying fraud. And the last project for the day is Healthcare Data Analysis. Analyze Electronic Health Records EHR to gain insights into patients' demographics, diagnosis, and treatment outcomes. Perform statistical analysis to identify trends in disease prevalence, effectiveness of medical interventions, and potential healthcare disparities across different demographic groups. Visualize these insights using Plotly to create interactive graphs that allows healthcare professionals to explore the data visually. And with that, we have come to the end of this video on top data analysis projects. We hope you found this video informative and helpful. If you have any doubts or questions regarding this topic, then please feel free to put them down in the comment section below and our team of experts will definitely answer them for you. Also, if you guys ever wonder how it feels to have a successful career in the field of data analytics, so let's take a minute to hear it out from our learners who have experienced massive success in their careers through our data analytics programs. Upskilling is extremely essential for any working professional nowadays. 
After completing the Professional Certificate Program in Data Analytics from Simply Learn in partnership with Purdue University, my career took a significant turn. I was able to change my career domain from teaching kids to providing supportive services to adults at the Department of Rehabilitation in San Francisco. The experience that I have with Simply Learn was amazing. The faculty was very encouraging about my future and I encourage all professionals. And if you're interested in learning more about different technologies, there are plenty of resources available at Simply Learn. You can also check out our website for more information on different certifications. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Until then, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.